here we are, the last video of the series, my winner, the best song that I consider to be the best song of all time. As I said before, not the best stagings, not the best performances, not the best voices, just the best songs this top was. This is really bad English. On my number one, I have Milim, Words. I love this song so freaking much and guys, if you have started watching Eurovision later and you have never watched this one, please watch it, then also please watch the official video, then also please translate the lyrics into English, oh my gosh, they are so good. True, he did mess up in his live performance in the final, that's why if I would rank like performances or stuff, he would not be my number one. I would also say that as a live performance from voice point of view, I would also not put him as number one. Because of that mistake, and it's very unfortunate, I'm sure that he can sing that the way he was trying to sing it, because he did it before. It was just a very, very, very unlucky moment to mess up. And why is it even more unfortunate? Because that's exactly the moment that they picked to show when they did the recap during the live show. So every time when people have to vote, they would see his mistake. Still, I do not care. This song, from songwriting point of view, is my favorite song all time in Eurovision. Here we go with Halel Skat, Milim, Israel, 2010. Gold medal. And the emotion this song is giving me. I don't even speak Hebrew and I can sing this. I've listened to it so many times. I also like how he's on stage, this vulnerable guy slash kid. He looks like a kid, he's not. As I said before guys, if you would translate this to English, the lyrics are so good. So impactful. I like when the instruments slowly, slowly start getting in. Also, his stage acting is actually very good. That fake smile thing, did you still have the frustration inside? Oh my gosh! That's a mistake! Man, he's so good! I just love it. How, what, what do you guys think? Like, I don't really see a lot of people mentioning this song usually when I see conversations or stuff. People are not really talking about Milim. 
but for some reason this song for me is like just so intense. The whole idea of breaking up with someone and now you feel that all that you have is or like those person's last words and you kind of hate that those words but right now you miss the person so much that you would do anything just to hear those words even if they were the last ones. Like that's just like so intense. And also let's be honest, the singer not really the worst to look at. Do I think the result in 2010 was unfair? No, because of the mistake. That's, that was very expected. If someone did not listen to the song before and they still vote in Eurovision, or they do not know how well he can actually sing, you could see that mistake as, oh, this guy has like a pretty poor voice. He does not. I feel sad that he made that mistake. I feel upset for him because that was like the moment and he missed exactly the one moment. But I mean, to be very honest, I do feel that he's also very experienced. I'm sure he's an experienced singer. He did not just pop up for Eurovision. And hopefully he took it well. Thank you guys so much for watching the series with me. Let me know what you think about my top. I know that most of them are kind of like either slow or very deep. I'm not that much into chiki chiki boom boom. I mean, I I say that a lot. Like those those type of songs I do enjoy. I find them entertaining. I might be dancing on them, but I do not put them in the category of like awesomeness. I put them in the category of entertainment pop music. Please let me know what your top 20 would be and if it's too hard to make a top 20 because I know how much I struggled, at least let me know what would be like a top 5 of yours. Including the comments also when you started watching Eurovision. I know that has a huge impact. From your comments, I do understand and I do agree with you that I did not pick songs from like the 70s or 80s or like... I did have two songs that would have been outside the decades. But in the end, as a subjective thing, it's 100% subjective. It is not my generation style of music. Just as I am already aware, because I do see the new fans, the young fans, what they like in Eurovision, and it's not the same thing that I liked in Eurovision, I am sure that what I like in Eurovision is not the same as what people like in the 80s, 70s liked in Eurovision. Just as what they liked in the 70s was very probably not the same to what people liked in the 50s. The generations change, the music will change, what people like change. And that's fine. I started watching in 2005. Probably the oldest one that I had in this top was 2008. And 100% it is a generation thing. Thank you guys so much for watching this entire thing. I'm gonna try to put all these videos in just one very long one if you guys would want to watch them all together, if you've missed some of the others. Also there is an actual playlist with all of them where you can watch them in order. I do know that the titles kind of spoil it because in the title I do write which one the song is. So if I'll put them all together, maybe it will keep like the suspense a little bit. Again, thank you so much. Please stay safe. See you in a future video. Bye.